Throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities. Say it, say it, say it, say it. Plus three clever projects. And you've got a craft show that'll have you saying, that's clever. But first, this crafter from Birmingham, Alabama, weaves metal and wire to fashion a home accessory that brightens any room. Next on That's Clever. Welcome back to That's Clever. We're on the road finding real people making really cool crafts. Find out how this artist from Alabama outfits a lamp with a dress made from wire and metal. Hello, my name is Veronique Van Blair. I live in Birmingham, Alabama. I like to paint on all kinds of things. I paint on canvases, light switch covers, and even on light bulbs. And I also love to ride my scooter. But today, I'm gonna be making this iron dress lamp. Welcome to my studio. This is where my lamp is gonna get all dressed up. Every great structure needs a strong base. And for my lamp, I'm gonna use this pot lid. The first thing I'm gonna do is use the drill press so I can take the top of the lid. Safety first. Now that the top is off, I'm gonna make the hole a little bigger so that the lamp rod goes in. Now that that hole is done, I'm gonna drill another hole so that the coat will come out of. So now that the holes are done, I'm gonna assemble the lamp with those different parts, a lamp rod, an electrical cord, the socket, and the low nuts. Oh, I need my screwdriver. The rod is in place. I've put the electrical wire through, so now I'm gonna attach the socket. The socket I'm using is part of a lamp kit. It's easy and safe to use, and you can get it at any hardware store. Voila. The lamp assembly is good to go, so now I'm gonna work on the front part, which is the dress. To make the dress, I'm gonna use some coated wire, some pliers, and of course, I need my gloves. I'm gonna fold the wire in eight different sections. That will be the base of the skirt. Now that I've folded my eight sections, I'm gonna start turning this wire around one end to create the bodice. kind of looking like a little tornado. Now that I have the eight folds and the top part of the bodice, I'm gonna add the bottom part of the bodice and also the straps. So the straps are ready, I bend them and I'm gonna attach them to the body. This lamp is getting wired. The bodice is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna cut the end of the wire length and start working on the skirt. I have all the wire separated and now I'm gonna start making the basket brief. I'm gonna wrap wire all around the vertical pieces of the skirt. I've been making lamps for about eight years. I use all kinds of things for my lamps, car parts, license plates, vintage appliances, whatever inspires me. I was born in Belgium and did art on the side there. I'm finished with the basket weave and I went ahead and numbered all the squares. The numbers will help me keep track of where the metal plates will go. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to place the lamp clamp. I'm just using a thinner wire for this.
The clamp is in place, now I'm going to cut the metal plates for the skirt. I'm going to use the scissors to cut this aluminum flashing. Once I get the smaller piece cut, I use a pencil to trace out the square. This is where the number is coming in handy. I got some of my pieces cut, now I'm going to fold the edges over with my needle nose pliers. I just do about a quarter inch seam. I fold the metal over so that the edges don't cut. Maintenant que tous les morceaux sont pliés. <laughs> now that all the edges are folded, I'm going to pierce holes in each corner so that I can tie it up to the dress. Now that I have the holes all drilled, I'm going to paint a circular design on each panel. The acrylic paint that I'm using is made for metal. I like it because it covers well and dries quickly. I got my pieces all painted, now it's time to put that dress on. I just use a smaller wire to twist this around each panel and then twist it on the dress. Hey, are you looking up the skirt? Get away. See, that's where the number come in handy. Now that all the panels are in place and she's fully dressed, I just need to put on the base. Where is my base? Time to put them all together. My iron dress lamp looks très magnifique and it's ready to light up the room. Up next, we head back to Birmingham, Alabama, where this artist puts a lid on her latest craft. She's creating an attractive home accessory that's top dog. It's off to Birmingham, Alabama now. See why every dog has his day in this crafter's studio. She's creating a magnet that has lots of animal attraction. I'm back, and this time I'm gonna be making a jaw lid magnet. The first thing I'm going to do is paint the base color on the jaw lid, and I'm gonna use turquoise. Now that I have my base color on, I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes. This paint is already dry. For contrast, I'm gonna use a smaller circle in a lighter shade of blue. I like to work with acrylic paint because it dries quickly and it's easy to layer. This piece is already dry and I'm ready to paint a dog design on it. I'm finished with my dog design, now I'm ready to put in the details. This is a fabric paint in a squeeze bottle that will allow me to put texture on my magnet. I like the way it looks on the inside, now I'm going to add some dots on the edge of the lid. I've got my lid all painted, now I'm going to stick a magnet on the back of it so that it will stick on the refrigerator. For that, I'm going to use heavy duty glue. I painted my design, I got the magnet on, and this is dog is done. We find talented crafters and their cool projects everywhere we go. We just showed you three. Come back next time and see what America's crafting on That's Clever.